Hi viewers, welcome to LMI Solution. Today we are going to see about the Grey Wolf optimized load frequency control of renewable energy sources integrated with the thermal system. So this concept is, is, going to, is going to be taken from this reference paper. So we can refer this paper so we will get the more idea. In this paper they explain about uh, integration of renewable energy in the thermal system with the objective of load, load, load frequency control and it going, they consider two area system so in first area they are going to connect the PV system and second area they are going to connect the wind system okay and the controller right the controller they are going to use this kind of controller PA plus 1 plus a DD controller okay so it is having a PA controller at the initial state and then here you have that uh, another controller nothing but 1 plus DD controller so this 1 plus DD controller having two derivative part okay so they proposed uh, this controller and this controller gain the gain of this controller PI plus 1 plus DD controller will be uh, tuned by means of a uh, crave for optimization and then uh, so for a two area system they provide the detail for a uh, governor turbine and then a generated model okay so in this table you can see that the detail of the different parameter right kwd kpv kt kg kps b1 b2 a1 2 right so they are provided for two area and then uh, uh, for a uh, PV and the wind also, okay. And also for the input for PV and wind, they consider right. So here, so this is the paper we referred, right? You can refer the paper. So for uh, input for the PV and the uh, wind, here you can they they are generated random data in between zero to hundred seconds, right? So like uh, variation of uh, wind power and the uh, uh, PV power, right? So, same kind of data only we are going to use for input for that uh, PV system and system. So, here you can see that based upon this uh, detail, we develop that uh, simulating model. So, here you can see that we have the simulating model. So, model having two areas, right? So, this is area 1 and this is area 2 and area 1 having a uh, wind transfer function and area 2 having sorry area 1 having PV transfer function and area 2 having wind transfer function okay and then here we are using uh, uh, governor turbine and the generator load model so in area 2 also we have a governor turbine and generator model and here we have that controller right PA plus uh, 1 plus DD controller, right? So, this controller parameter will be tuned by means of that means here you can see that the variable KP1, KA1, and then here we have variable AD11, AD12, okay? And then here we have that means area 2 also having that uh, PA plus uh, 1 plus DD controller. So, this is this is having variable. KP2, KA2, KT1, uh, K22, right? So this parameter will be optimized by using uh, Gray Wolf optimization. So in order to optimize this parameter, we need objective function. So here we are going to take the objective function as per the <coughs> paper, right? So here they are mentioning that objective function which is equal to integration of uh, del f1 del f2 del p t i right so here we consider uh, uh, ita right integral time multiplied absolute error okay so we are taking absolute value of del f1 del f2 del p t i and then add it here and then it will be multi multiplied with the time and then here we apply integration so finally we get a ita right so this ita will be used as the objective function to find out the optimal value for that uh, uh, parameter of this two controller right the gain of the two controller so this will be 
attuned by means of a grave of optimization so here we have a grave of optimization okay and then here we are calling that the objective function so here we are calling that objective function and then we are getting that ita value right so once you here we have the number of uh, tunable parameter is 8 so maximum number of iteration we are uh, considered 50 and then after uh, maximum number of iteration so it will provide the uh, the best value for that uh, kp1 ka1 kp2 ka2 kd11 kd22 and k21 k22 okay so here I am going to execute this one. So it will be execute that uh, optimization process. So once this optimi optimization process will be started, right? So this model will be keep on running to get the detail of IPAE and then for uh, finding the, the best optimal value. So here you will see that. So we are getting the IPA value for a, a different set of uh, Again, we have uh, PA plus 1 plus GP controller, right? So, after completion of 50 iteration, right? So, we will get a uh, better, better or optimal result for a uh, KP, KA, KP2, and KA2, right? And KD11, KD12, K21, and K22, okay? So, you can use that value for um, control that uh, LFC of the thermal system along with the renewable energy sources okay so normally it will take some time to get the the optimal value for the gain so we we'll wait for some time so after completion of a fifth iteration so we will see the uh, result in the command window so the result are now we are provided here right so these are the result we are getting from the gw Okay. So now I am going to simulate this one. So you will see the result. So this is a result we are getting for a LFC controlled with the that means thermal system and included with the renewable energy sources. And also you can check the result. We will get the similar result. So here the result right. So we will get the similar result of the paper. Okay. So this is a working of uh, GW optimized LFC control with including renewable energy and thermal power plant. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe to the channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.